She's been at the helm of a brigade found to have failed in its response to the Grenfell fire. Personally singled out for criticism over her handling of the tragedy and forced to resign. But on Danny Cotton's last day in the office, hundreds of firefighters lined the streets to form a guard of honour. It was an unprecedented show of support for a commissioner of the brigade. I'm very, very sad to be leaving, but I think the legacy of all these people here shows I must have done something all right. And do you think this is an appropriate celebration after what's happened? I think that people here have t chosen to come out today. It's their choice. Danny Cotton has been given a send-off. Hey, no other guys, retiring guys, commissioner of the London Fire Brigade has ever received before. But some of those who lost relatives in the Grenfell fire say this is highly insensitive to the memory of the 72 victims. Shah Iglani lost his mother and aunt in the fire on the 18th floor of the tower. He's been calling on Danny Cotton to resign for months and is angry at the manner of her departure today. It is insensitive and somewhat disrespectful to all those people who died. Those people died on her watch. You know, after the two damning reports, one from the inquiry and the second one from the Her Majesty's inspectorates, I think uh, there was nothing to, to honour. She just had to leave. Danny Cotton saw firsthand inside the burning tower block and the problems faced by her firefighters. The subsequent inquiry found serious fault not just in the fire brigade she led, but in her personally. Danielle Amara Cotton. Particularly over these comments she gave in evidence. I wouldn't change anything we did on the night. To see her pushed out in this way, um, you know, it, it really has angered a lot of people and hurt a lot of firefighters as well. We know um, that, you know, the criticism that's been levelled at her is completely unfair. As her tenure draws to a close, she'll be remembered inside the brigade as its first female boss. But for some of the Grenfell families, her legacy will be the brigade's failing over the Grenfell fire. Sejal Karia, ITV News.